it takes a little bit of courage to try something new and to feel okay about it. I hope that I can teach you how to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, pivot, and go do the thing that you were meant to do. I'm Joy Griffin, and I am an assistant teaching professor for the Technology Entrepreneurship Management Program. I was born in Chappaqua, New York, which is about 30 miles north of Manhattan. I love the city, and I loved growing up there because there was a lot going on. You know, the hustle and the bustle is really a big part of who I am, and I'm still a New Yorker. So I teach entrepreneurship and leadership. I feel like those are hard things to teach, but ASU has the ability to teach them. You know, you're not really just solving for X. You're moving into these gray areas between black and white, and sometimes that's where you learn the most. Students coming into my classes should just be prepared to roll up their sleeves. I say, let's go outside your comfort zone. And to some students, that's exciting, but to a lot of students, it's scary. And this is a safe space. We've created these classes so that you can come in in a low stakes environment and be able to test out new things, see what you think outside your comfort zone. And then the students tell me that they start to grow and some of them even want to move all the way out here, which is where all the magic happens. While some students don't want to start up their own business, a lot of them want to have a side hustle to have financial freedom or to be able to, to have something that's theirs that will never go away. And so I really love teaching entrepreneurial mindset so that students can go out there. Maybe they are gonna work for somebody else when they graduate from college, but maybe down the road, they can use that same mindset to maybe start up their own business or do something that they've dreamed of. You know, I'm inspired by students literally every day. I walk into a classroom and, you know, sort of the traditional way of thinking is that I'm the smart one in the room and I walk in and I meet the students where they are. I've worked at a lot of places, I've owned my own company, I've worked for big companies and nothing fulfills me like teaching because I call it sparking forward because you see that spark and then you give that student the opportunity to move forward with that thought. And, you know, my job is done. When I, when I see that in my students, I'm like, yes. <laughs>